Hello and welcome to my first maths lesson over the next few weeks. Now this is for key stage one but if you're older than key stage one and you still want to take part you are more than welcome. Now does maths get you down? Do you find maths a little bit tricky? Does a little tingle in your tummy start to bubble up when you hear your teacher say now for maths? Well if you do feel a bit nervous about maths, you've come to the right place. But also, if you love maths, I hope you've come to the right place as well. We are going over the next few weeks, going to go through all manner of different types of maths. This week, we are looking at arithmetic and we're going to go through the basics of arithmetic uh, to see how you add, subtract, multiply and even divide. Near the end of the week, I may also talk about a quite tricky concept called fractions. Okay, for this lesson, we are going to understand addition. We're going to also have a go at using the column addition method. In the next video after this one, lesson two, we are also going to be looking at how to work out our addition problems using pictures, for example, using the bar model. Now you may have heard that before. And we're also going to be using manipulatives as well to help us understand what is going on. Manipulatives I'll explain in the next lesson as well. So without further ado, we're going to get our brains up and uh, active and we're going to wake ourselves up by having a little bit of a brainstorm. And we're going to play a little game and have a little song um, and we're going to practice our subitizing. Now, for those of you who have forgotten what subitizing is or those of you who aren't sure what subitizing is, it is where you see a picture or you see a collection of objects and you've got to, in your head, find the number that there is. So you're adding them up in your head as quick as you can and you're quickly shouting out the answer. We're going to have this for every lesson this week. If you want to have a go yourself and you might not be able to see this board very well, go onto YouTube and type in subitize. S-U-B-T-I-Z-E. And you'll see some brilliant games and brilliant songs where you can practice your quick number recall and your subitizing. So, let's have a go. Subitizing means to look at a set of items and to immediately recognize the amount. The more you practice, the better you get. Subitize, sub subitize. Use your eyes to subitize. Look at a set and know it right away. Here's a little game that we're going to play. Call out the number when you see the display. What number's that? Quick, call it out! What number's that? Four! Here we go. 
10, 5, 1, 9, 3, 7, 2, Use your eyes to subitize. Look at a set and go have a little way. Here's a little cane that we're going to play. Call out the number when you see the display. Okay, we're going to stop there. Did you enjoy that? Pretty cool, hey? So your brain should be warmed up now, ready for our lesson. So, let me just get rid of this. Okay, now, we are going to have a go at looking at addition today. Now addition is quite a straightforward concept. It's where you're adding amounts together to find a total. Now we're going to start off with an everyday problem and we're going to see and try and work out what we have to do first of all. Okay, I was having a little thing and I've come up with a word problem. Bear with me, here we go. Here we are. My favourite person, Bob. I have a word problem here and it involves addition. I wonder if you can work out what we need to add together. I think it's pretty straightforward. Bob bought 27 potatoes and 12 tomatoes. How many vegetables did he buy? So the first thing you need to do is you need to work out what two numbers you have to use in the sum. Well, if you have a look, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? You can see there are only two numbers in this sum. We have 27 and we have 12. We're going to have a go at adding those up. Now, we are going to have a go at using a thing called column addition. Okay, so we're going to have a go at writing it on the board over here and then we're going to have a go at writing some over here where we've got a little bit more space. Let me just grab my pen. Okay, right. We are going to put the numbers in columns. Now, you may have done this at school, so let's see if you can remember. If you think about the different columns that we have, we have a ones column. Let me just put an over ones. And we also have a tens column. And they are all the columns that we need so far because we've got two digit numbers, 27 and 12. I'm going to add 27 onto 12. So I'm going to put 20. 7, now I'm adding 12. Can you see what I've done there? I have split my 27 into two different columns. 27 has two tens and it has seven ones. 12 has one ten and two ones. And from that, I can simply add them up. So I'm going to always start off on the right hand side in my ones column. So seven add two. Now, when you're working out these problems, 
put the biggest number in your head and then you are happy. If you feel more comfortable, you can use your fingers to add on that smaller number. So I've got seven add two. So put seven in your head, grab it, stick it in your head. Right, it's in my head. I've got seven. Now I need to count on two. So I'm gonna get two fingers and I'm adding them up. So seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I've got nine. So I'm going to put my nine in my ones column. Can you see? Next thing, let's go over here. I've got my tens column here. Now I've got two tens and one ten, or two add one. So put two in your head and then count on one. So two, three. Okay, so I have an answer there. How many vegetables did he buy? Well, if I add them together, it gives me 39. Can you see? I wonder if you can come up with your own word problem and see if you can come up with an addition word problem. Have a go. See if you can test the person who's looking after you at the moment or a big brother or sister or even a little brother or sister. Give it a go. That's quite easy, isn't it? Let's go on to something more challenging. Oh, I've got my friend Tracy now. Hello, Tracy. Tracy collected 35 stickers and Linda, her friend, put it right there, collected 27 stickers. How many stickers do they have all together? Right, I've got two numbers that I need to add together for that one. So it's a total number of stickers. So remember what we do. We put our different columns. So I've got my ones column, I've got my tens column. I'm gonna put 35. It's got three tens, five ones. And 27 has two tens and seven ones. And I'm adding them. Can you see how you do that column addition? Now, this one's a bit more tricky because we are going to have to do a thing called carrying a number. In tomorrow's lesson, we're going to explain how that looks using pictures. So don't worry if you don't quite understand what's going on at the moment. So I have here five add seven. Now, do you remember that trick that we learned you have to put the biggest number in your head and then count on using your fingers if you want to. So I've got five and seven, but you can do it the other way round if that helps, seven and five. So I'm gonna put the biggest number, which is seven, and I'm adding on five, so with my five fingers out. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So the answer for that first bit of the problem is 12. So look here, I can't put 12 in this column because 12 has tens in it as well as ones. So I put my two there and the 10 from the 12 goes flying through the air woo, 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 and goes over to the next column, the tens column. Now can you see I've put it over there but it doesn't matter. If you want to, you can put it above as long as it's in the tens column. Now that one, that 10 that I've put over there needs to be counted in the tens column with the other numbers. So look this way. Three or 30, add two or 20, add one. So I've got three, add two, add one. Three, add two is five. Add one is six. So the answer is, how many stickers do they have? They have 62 stickers. It's not too bad, is it? If you find that tricky, carrying numbers, don't worry, you just need to practice. Oh, you lucky things. Now, I have here, a set of problems for you. 
addition problems. I wonder if you can do these at home. Tomorrow I'll give you the answers for them. I wonder if you can use column addition to answer them. Are there any of them where you have to carry a number? Let's see. 21 add 36. Use the column addition and the column method. Split them up into tens and ones and see if you can answer that question. Number two is 42 add 13. Number three is 57 add 25. That's a bit more tricky. And finally, 12 add 69. Have a go at answering those at home. Now, if you want to really push yourself and challenge yourself, pick one of them and see if you can dive deeper on one of them. What I mean by that is, can you come up with different ways to answer the question? For example, can you put one of these problems into a word problem? Do you remember I gave you a word problem involving Tracy and Linda and Bob? Can you come up with a word problem for one of these? Can you draw a bar model for one of these problems? Don't worry if you're not sure what a bar model is, I'll explain it in the next lesson. Or can you use something around the house to help you add these together? Have you got any objects that you can put into groups? That's the lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's given you a little bit of a refresher in what column addition is. As I said, tomorrow's lesson we are going to be looking at bar models and I'm going to show pictorially what addition actually means. So, hope you join me with the next, uh, in the next lesson and I hope you got something from this lesson. Okay, I look forward to hearing any feedback you have. Um, so, until tomorrow, bye-bye.